you will get back in return from the Lord. Praise God. Oh, I feel the spirit upon you. Better get right or you're going to get this left. This is a TV mad about? city with over 50 channels available for the fervent addict to choose from. And with Dallas being the big brassy buckle on the Bible belt, you can bet that here in TV heaven, there's always someone out there waiting to get you tuned in to the Word of God. The devil took prayer out of schools. He's not going to take prayer off TV. You foul spirit of deafness. He's getting a brand new back right now. Brand new back. Preaching. Although some televangelists have fallen from grace because they're more interested in enlightening your wallet than enlightening your life, they still attract one sect of followers who don't really care whether souls are saved as long as their idle on screen performance is inspirational. He's the master, he's the ringleader, the circus leader of what he does. He'll rant, he'll rave, he'll lay on hands. Go! In the name of Jesus. He really is damn good at it. I mean, I'm not at all a religious person, but I'm mesmerized by the TV where every time he's on. Go! It's just that he's got more charisma than the Archbishop of Canterbury or the Pope any day of the week. I'd like to see them jumping up and down and ranting and raving in their cassocks or whatever they wear. <laughs> Satan would like to talk you into believing that we're all a bunch of crooks or frauds. That's not it at all. 